We are now in session. All right, guys. At first, let's thank our sponsor, California Health Collaborative. And sorry, I just got the giggles right now. And I just want to thank all you guys for tuning in. And please remember to like, subscribe, subscribe. and follow us on all of the platform Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, YouTube uh, Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So follow us on all of that. Yeah. And. Lucky, you want to yes. introduce our special guest? Yeah, we, we have a great session for you all today. And to my right, I want to introduce you to Soma. And also to my far right is Sarah. Thank you so much, lady, for joining us on the show today. Welcome, welcome to the session. Thank welcome. you. Thank yes. you for yes. having yes. us. Yeah, this, this, this session was very controversial between Toby, Charles, and myself. There's We were arguing about the same thing, but just different sentences. Um, but I think today's topic is about vaping and smoking in the Asian American community, especially have we seen a rise and increase of young people, seventh grader, eighth graders, high school kids smoking. And today we don't want to bash the tobacco industry. We don't want to bash the smokers, but we really want to get Soma and Sarah's input and their experience, um, even with smoking or in the community that they see. So. Yeah, we really appreciate you you ladies being on the show and to get a female perspective about this besides the three knuckleheads that we have here on the show today. <laughs> so, yeah. So, thank you. Thank you so much. So, yeah, Toby, we talk about tobacco, right, in the right. Asian American community. Um, can you kind of just lead us on what have you seen since we went, went, when we went to school to now? Man, um, smoking in our community is pretty... Um, prevalent right it everywhere you go are the elders the ogs right they, they all smoke and um from laos it's it was easily accessible so they could go out the plant was out there and they just smoke it right out on the field and so i think it's part of the culture when they came over and they still smoke and so growing up man you see everybody your uncles uh dad and cousin yeah. they all smoke you know so it's it's well within our community yeah Sarah, we'll, we'll 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 go that way, and then okay. we'll kind of go this way. Okay. Like, can you introduce yourself as far as what what do you do in the community? Um, and then maybe a little background about just a brief background about smoking, and we'll go around the table. Okay. <laughs> um. So, ah, uh, shoot. I love I love being put on the spot like that. So great. <laughs> so great. Um. Well, so I um. I'm a former smoker. Mm -hmm. um, I am actually not super engrossed in the Asian American community. Okay. Um, so my perspective is not necessarily from Asian American standpoint. Um, but, you know, I, I definitely do see it. I do have a teenage son. You know, I have a, a freshman in high school. So mm -hmm. I know last year there was a lot of times where he would call me or text me three, four, five fire alarms throughout the day in eighth grade all from smoking in the bathroom or vaping oh, wow. in the bathroom, oh. um, you know, and, and that was that was really, really prevalent. And for me personally, I started smoking at that age. Mm -hmm. You know, I started smoking in eighth grade uh, just before freshman year. And um, it was – it's initially was like a peer pressure thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it was like kind of the cool way the, – the way to fit in with yeah. the cool kids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it just kind of snowballed from there. Wow. Yeah. So, Ma, you shared earlier about peer pressure. Can you share a little bit of what does that mean in the in the Asian American community? Yeah, sure. Um, lots of peer pressure. It really starts with the stereotype of Asians. Um, we're supposed to be smart. We're supposed to, you know, go to the best colleges. So we have that pressure of doing well, getting a 4.5, getting to the best schools. So we we have that, and that's like a stigma that you say, oh, all Asians are smart. Well, that's that pressure. You got to be smart. You got to attend the colleges that your parents expect you to go. But that peer pressure, on the other hand, is, wait, I have that pressure from my parents, but I also want to hang out with my friends, and I want to be cool too. Right. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like, okay, if you hang out with your friend, you want to be cool, that means you don't have time to study. Mm -hmm. So it's like the dilemma that the Asian kids now in sixth, seventh grade, they start out young now, smoking and vaping. So that's a dilemma we see right now of um, trying to balance between, you know, having to go to school and do well in school, but also also having friends and <clears throat> hanging out with your friends. So that's been the issue. And, and our 
Asian American kids right now are struggling with. Yeah. Charles, you mentioned something earlier. You said What did I mention? You mentioned something <laughs> earlier about um, you know, your different perspective, right? We asked you I asked you a question about your son, but you had a different perspective about deterring in a different way like you were teaching a different method well let's let, let's yeah. kind of talk about like your experience with smoking first yeah. i think we're kind of skipping around yeah, uh, right. topics so what was your experience like because i know soma I don't smoke. you don't smoke but what was your experience like mm-hmm. as far as like coming up upbringing and yeah the, well my my dad smoked i mean it's uh, like asian parents you know right, the right. father always smoked with the grandfather so i grew up with a secondhand smoke. Oh, <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah, so I mean, right. I just know a lot of his uh, friends smoke, so it was like a normal thing normal. to smoke. But then when you get older, you get you have all these health issues. Right. So do you feel like that was a deterrent for you though? Like, mm. do, so do you? Because because my mom was a smoker too, <clears throat> but she had quit long before. Um, well, probably like right about right about after my after her, her pregnancy right. with me, yeah. then she quit smoking. Right. Um, But, like, for me, because she didn't smoke when I was a kid, I wasn't around it. I didn't have that deterrent. Mm. So do you feel Mm. like, especially in, you know, if it is so prevalent in the Asian American community to have the elders be smokers, do you feel like that was a deterrent in general for you? Or do you think it, because if it's still a problem coming up now, why isn't it a deterrent for a lot of the kids? Is it really the peer pressure? It is. It's the peer pressure. but. I chose not to smoke because I first I don't like the smell of mm-hmm. yeah. and and number two it's like it was on my clothes and even though my dad smoked my mom would make him smoke outside bad or whatever breath. bad breath mm-hmm. and it's yellow like tea. yellow tea mm-hmm. I mean come on and then he'd be coughing a lot I'm like do I want this when I get older it's just I just don't want to kiss him huh no, oh, my yellow dad tea. is yeah mm-hmm. but you know what that, that the, I want to say the Asian community especially the OGs of it they everybody smoked yes. But when you get it, you have the choice, you know. And mm-hmm. I just didn't like the smell, the smoke, and all that. Mm-hmm. Right. So that was my choice. Right. Yeah, Charles. See for what's me, what's your experience like? So as a child, as a little baby, I grew up in a house full of smokers. Mm-hmm. Like people would come to my house and like they'll play cards back in the days, mm-hmm. where yep. well, like have illegal gambling going on mm-hmm. and yep. illegal yep. gambling. Yep. Yes, <laughs> because <laughs> we we didn't check with the you know the Native American Indian consumer right. first. Oh, you didn't pay your taxes. <laughs> yeah, we didn't pay our taxes. You didn't pay your dues. Yep. So like, when people sit down and sm- uh, play cards, they all smoke. Everybody chain smoking. Yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about one or two cigarettes. I'm talking about packs and cartons. Yeah. Oh, wow. And people were like. You know, like the ten pack of cartons of Marlboro Red. Mm-hmm. Like they'll give me the money to run to the corner store to go buy cigarettes. How wait, old wait, 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 what? I mean, I was like, I don't know, maybe ten, eight, you got, you eight got to ten. No, back in the day. That, yeah, back in the day, there they was didn't, no they IDs. Didn't. Oh, okay. Don't you guys remember when we get to like a steakhouse and then this that machine, the vending machine, oh, where you yes. put quarters in and you get, mm-hmm. um, yeah, right, right, right. So like you could be at any age to buy cigarettes back in the days. And then, like, they'll give me, like, $5, $10 to go run around, get, you know, the cartons of cigarettes, and then I'll get to keep the change. So that's how I made money. And then I'll collect those five miles from those uh, Marlboro Red and mm-hmm. send it in mm-hmm. for clothes and all that stuff. They give you points. Oh, yeah. They give you yeah. points. Oh, system. Oh, my God. Yeah. Point system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So to me, like, you know, all these uh, smokers are awesome because I'm making money. Me money yeah. And I get to buy and get free <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 So, but then the thing that I never smoked in my life. It's not because I think it's bad for my health and all that stuff. It's just because I'm metro. And I see all these people with yellow teeth, no teeth, and like mm-hmm. it's all rotten. I'm like, ooh, I don't want to look like yeah. that. Yeah. And they smell. So yeah. I'm like, you know what? That's not what I want to do and what whatnot. Right. So that's why I chose to never smoke. You Nobody, never thought it looked cool? Huh? You I never did. thought it would look cool? The cigars. You ever tried it? No, cigarettes? Yes. No. You know, but I used to smoke those little gum cigarettes. Oh, yeah. I tried to look like I'm too. cool. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that, and then cigars, I smoke cigars because I feel like it's a badass with like Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, you know, holding his cigars. No. So I try that. But as far as like. You cigar- still smoke cigars or no? No, 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 no. I think like I did it twice in my life. I probably will try it again did if you, I'm in did Vegas. Did you feel cool? Huh? You were smoking this. No, I was choking on it, so I was like, <laughs> I thought I looked like an idiot or something. <laughs> it went down the wrong way. Sorry. The choking is normal. <laughs> it's normal for you, anyways. No, so. did, did you inhale or exhale? I, I just did this. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> What is that called? It had a bad taste, right? Hmm? Was it a bad taste when you tried Usually it? Usually I'm drunk at that time. Oh. So I don't know. 
I just know usually I was, it goes hand in hand, right? Yeah. Like yeah. drinking or smoking, you they smoke, kind of go yeah. hand in yeah. hand. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of all, all, like people that drink, they say, "Man, I need a cigarette," mm-hmm. you know. And and a lot mm-hmm. of the OGs in our community too, yeah. when they drink or they're playing cards, mm-hmm. man, I need a smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I what? haven't, I haven't smoked. I quit um, when I was pregnant with my daughter, who will be seven this year, so seven and a half, eight years. Mm. There are still times when I do drink that I I will take a drag off somebody's cigarette, mm. or I'll be mm. tempted just to, like a hit and then I immediately am huh? like, "No, that was a horrible." decision yeah. that tastes horrible um but yeah no it's it's the thing it's an addiction yeah. we don't treat it like we should like we should as an addiction right. yeah um you know and and it it really is because it's it's a it's a habit too yeah. like every time when i was a smoker every time i went outside cigarette every time mm-hmm. i would drink coffee cigarette right. every time i was so it was certain habits so and that's what makes it so hard for people does it kind of like calm you down and like yes and no but see my i i've i've done some other random research into it aside from this because this i came totally unprepared for but um you know i feel like some of it is just um not necessarily like placebo effect but it's just your mind playing tricks on you it makes you think yeah, that yeah. you need that right. effect. Right, right. Um, and I don't think it actually does it. You does just it. feel you like just, you just yeah. auto, your brain correlates that. It's it's the um, what's the word I'm looking Maybe for? Maybe because like if you know when you smoke, you inhale kind of slowly. Mm-hmm. Kind of like you when take you meditate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, when you meditate, right. you take yeah. like a slow yeah. Instead, a slow you're just breath. inhaling yeah. a bunch of chemicals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're just taking a lot of deep breaths. A lot of deep <laughs> breaths. Yeah. Right? No, it really like, is. Especially if you go to smoke after a stressful situation, that is what you use to take those slow breaths and calm down. So it's kind of like a. So like you're training aid. your you're brain, training yeah. Your brain mm-hmm. to take slow breath, but mm-hmm. you're adding that cigarette. Yep. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, man, that's crazy. Yeah, I know that. What What about you? So, what's your man, experience? I, I don't smoke at all. I know, but what's your experience what, what's like? Yeah, yeah. like but, uh, cigarettes. With well, cigarettes. Well, I, I, think, I think for me, <clears throat> excuse me. I think for me, seeing my uncle smoke mm-hmm. that was uh, that was an eye opener to me. I never wanted to be cool with cigarettes. I never really thought it was cool because. My uncle would come in the house smelling and, you know, the clothes was horrible. Mm-hmm. My mm-hmm. parents don't smoke. My parents rarely even drink. Well, we were growing up, they never drank at all. But smoking was always one of those things that my parents always told me, like, it's bad for you. Respiratory-wise, it's really, really bad. Mm-hmm. And in our family, we already, you know, are, are diabetics and inhaling right. stuff is mm-hmm. just really, really bad. And the respiratory issue is something that goes along my bloodline, you know, so... That alone itself, I just never really tuned into it, you know. I never thought it was cool. And I used to just walk away from friends or, you know, peers who actually smoke. So, um, yeah, that's my take on it. And even today now, you give me a cigarette, I won't do it. Yeah. You know, and I just I just won't be around that stuff. Yep. You know, and that's a personal choice, though. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. definitely. <coughs> definitely. Um, we well, wanted to talk about like uh, yeah. uh, smoking <clears throat> within, um, in youth, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, yes. what are the, why do you guys think that the youth are uh, smoking besides peer pressure and, you know, thinking it's cool? I mean, is there something that's <coughs> behind it that's kind of like pushing them to, to do it and getting caught in that <clears throat> web? Well, I mean, I feel like the way that it's marketed has always oh, been right. kind of in a more playful essence Youthful. Yeah. it's yeah. it's oh. never really been you know even if you look harmful. way back in the day at, at the old oh, ads the yeah bad. you know it was Very it was the cool thing to yeah. do and it was it's always had in my opinion some subtle nuances yeah. to kind of speak to kids sure. it's never been super adult it's never been you know hard to understand and they mm-hmm. you know the disclaimers about it are yeah. so so subtle and so few mm-hmm. and far between it's so small yeah yeah, and yeah. then when vaping, I mean, because now I'm curious because I know yeah. you did a lot of research for this. Did you get anything on there about how it's affected or changed since they did the big ban here in California? Mm-hmm. So, like, has that kind of slowed the curb on kids smoking, or what do you think? No, no. I know they banned in California and a couple other states, but they found way the uh, the the market the brand to. Uh, I don't want to say go around. Kind of entice. Entice, entice yeah, to make it like the flavorful, adding the mango steam and, you yeah. know, and all that. Mm-hmm. So they're going around. And then when the USDA, when they, by the time they do the research and they find you and they investigate, 
they're going to have another mm-hmm. product. So it's been continued, even though yeah. it's banned, you know, the, but there's other products that will like go around it and it'll get to the kids. Mm-hmm. And right now, when I was doing the research, it's now sixth graders and seventh graders. Wow. Yeah, young. they're already starting yeah. at that age because wow. of the pressure mm-hmm. of school and the pressure to be a, a part of the, uh, the, the clique, the group mm-hmm. and everything. But it's also, it's correlated to mental health mm-hmm. too, because oh. anxiety, depression, they use, they smoke, they use vaping to get rid of that because, you know, like you say, when you have anxiety issues mm-hmm. or you're depressed and stuff, when you smoke, I mean, I was reading one, this um, Indian American kid yeah. um, said when he smokes, he doesn't think about it. He goes into a euphoric uh, mm-hmm. environment and a world. Wow. wow. How mm-hmm. old was this kid? Uh, he was like 14. 14. <laughs> oh, he's still young. Yeah. What do you guys think about vaping? Like, <laughs> They say it's a little bit uh, better than marijuana, but it's not a replacement or substitute because at the end, you're still going to have health issues. Mm, mm. For sure. And the reason yeah, why they vape, liquid. and I was talking because I work at uh, West Coast uh, Drug and <clears throat> Alcohol. So they actually was just talking to a couple of clients, just asking them questions. And they were actually saying, well, you know what? Um, you might think that vaping is to replace marijuana and stuff. But at the end, it's the same thing. The reason why we vape is before is because of the flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, if you look if you look in the young folks, right? Vaping looks really, really cool. Yeah, right. yeah. I seen I seen I seen one with an NBA logo, the oh, favorite yeah. team. I oh, see yeah. a picture of someone else. Yeah. They're like so, the cool lighters. Now. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. So it's, even me, who is a non-smoker, I'm like, dude, what do you have? That looks yeah. so dope, you know. But in my mind, I'm like, is it more harmful than cigarettes? You know, yeah. so yeah, it's actually. I feel liquid. like it. It would it's be liquid. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. liquid nicotine. There you go. Yeah. They use. So, yeah. so they take that the tea or not the tea? That's that's sweet. But um, they they take that liquid nicotine mm-hmm. and they add flavor to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the studies now shows that vaping is becoming more prevalent. Mm-hmm. And cigarette mm-hmm. tobacco cigarettes has actually dropped yeah. a lot. But mm-hmm. vaping jumped yeah because so i know it's a shift. yeah it's a shift. one of the yeah. first times that i tried to quit um it was right when it was before like the the vapes as we know them now yeah. it was like when it first came out and it was like a pen and you had right. to get the cartridge oh, yeah. and the pen yes. and yes. Yes. put yes. the yes. thing on yeah. and it was yeah. it was i mean and it was it was better than cigarettes like it it because it, it it tasted better it tasted you better. didn't mm-hmm. smell like cigarettes right. it's easier to hide mm-hmm. so that's yeah. another thing too yeah. that i think with teens yeah. and, yeah. and kids it mm-hmm. is because you when you're a smoker you're nose blind like so my mom was a smoker her whole life so yeah. she she immediately knew i was 13 14 i thought i was being slick yeah, man caught, I, was man. Like, <laughs> I was like i'm going downstairs like i'm leaving our apartment before school yeah, in the morning yeah, i'm going yeah. downstairs and smoking a cigarette i'm borrowing my mom's cell phone and i'm like and i'd come back inside and she's like why does my phone smell like smoke i'm like no it doesn't <laughs> like I legitimately did not realize that my clothes smelled like smoke every time I smoked. I didn't realize that the phone smelled like smoke, that anything mm-hmm. that I was holding or had in my possession smelled like smoke. So vaping, it's way easier for kids off. to hide yeah. it now. Yeah. So much yeah. easier. How do you guys think they're getting access to it? Because the law in California is you yeah. have to be twenty one now. Yeah. To do all these things, right? How are, yep. how do you guys Places think? Places don't are care. Getting access they want to money. Places, they just yeah. Money. But like I said, you always have, um, so the, the research was, I was following this Indian American um, or teenager who was going through it for a stage of vaping and stuff. So he was an outcast and he wanted to fit in with the group. So mm-hmm. they said, okay, you want to be part of it? You're going to, you know, you're going to smoke and vape. Yeah. But they also use him. They also bully him. They use mm-hmm. him to go get the resources yeah so he had to find ways to whether he had to get it from his mom and dad he had to go find it yeah to be a part of the in crowd so there you are you have not only the peer pressure the bullying but you're cheating behind your parents Mm -hmm. and lying and stealing Mm -hmm. Mm because he had to pay for it so you got all this issue so they find ways going because they want to be a Mm -hmm. part of that group Mm -hmm. right well you could purchase vapes online now yeah you can you can purchase i mean there was a guy that came out on um, Facebook many, many months ago that talked about people here in the Valley ordering it online mm-hmm. and having somebody order order the 21, pick it up at the store. That's how they would do it. Oh, wow. yeah. And it didn't wow. even matter if your name was listed on that purchase order. Yeah. <clears throat> you just went in there and said, yeah, that, that's my order. Here's my and little they, brother or whoever. Like, yeah, they'll just give it to him. And so the little kid would have the yeah. older kid 
Yeah, 21. 20, so yeah, 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 yeah. I'm old, yeah. so. Pick up the, the pick cigarettes up, for them. For, yeah. You guys for them, yeah. Wow, and crazy. sometimes they don't even verify it on oh the, at the liquor store or wherever yeah. this vape store is at. I mean, mm. Charles and I talked last time about this too on, on the last session, and that's what they've been doing on order yeah. online, and, and that's they how they would get it. I think that comes down to a, a more of a responsibility for those those people that actually sell it, sell it, mm-hmm. right? Like uh-huh. they got to be like a part of the solution, the solution. too. Yeah. Like, yeah. hey, making yeah. money and profiting off because they're acting just like. The uh, the the tobacco mm-hmm. industry yep. oh, for yeah. sure for you know? sure so mm-hmm. but that's why I think like for us to be able to like you know reduce the amount of tobaccos being sold to kids mm-hmm. especially like if they're across the street from schools mm-hmm. is like in the East Coast where they just separate liquor store and convenience store mm-hmm. liquor store they have um, cigarettes vapes yeah. and liquor yeah and you got to be twenty one just to get into yeah. that store yeah and the convenience store like where kids goes in they don't have mm. any of those there's yeah. no options mm. there's yeah. no so options. like if you know it's easier for the person that owns this spot to not be enticed in trying to make a small profit real quick by just yeah. like you know here here you go just pay me i, I just want to make a sales yeah. so now if the store itself is only selling liquor and tobacco then we already know that anybody that's under 21 shouldn't be even walking in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that would be a lot easier to help prevent, prevent. you know, yeah, younger sure. kids yeah, from right. getting... At least from starting. Because, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. in addicts, I mean, somebody who smokes is essentially, in my opinion, an addict because mm-hmm. that's how I felt I was. I mean, they're going to try and find ways, but I think right. that would definitely mm-hmm. be a good deterrent, deterrent. for kids to, to not start. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you think about even liquor stores, how many feet can they be away from school right now? There's oh, a there's a bill store? that's yeah. out yeah. a law that says be, that they gotta they be have. a certain certain foot mm-hmm. away from school. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think that. Oh, you're talking about the business itself. Yeah, yeah the business itself. Oh, okay, yeah, it yeah, can't yeah. be within so yeah. many so many. That could be schools. the same for what Charles mentioned about. Well, but then mm-hmm. those things and uh, they don't call it liquor store. They just call it uh, convenience store. Convenience store. Yeah, convenience yeah. Store yeah, yeah, yeah. That also have to uh, like, you know alcohol. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, other sure. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Alcohol. Like Seven Eleven. You don't think of it as a liquor store. No. Yeah. But they sell beer and stuff. They sell beer. Yeah. 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 So. Just no. you gotta have it separate. Yeah. So go ahead. No, I was just gonna say because I mean, on that, I know that's kind of a side tangent, but I feel like that was one of the weird because I'm from the East Coast. Yeah. So I feel like that was one of the weirdest things when I moved to California was mm-hmm. like being able to walk into Walmart and yep. buy liquor. Like the other yeah. states do separate mm-hmm. liquor do. and yeah. tobacco yeah, yeah, yeah. way more well, than California does. Oh, wow. I, I live in Atlanta for like eight years, and when I first started. You can't buy alcohol on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? No. Yeah. Same thing, same thing with in the South. Yeah. I, so I grew up in. Yeah. I grew up in Nashville. Oh, yeah. And yeah. yeah. From, Atlanta. From Saturday wow. at yeah. um, midnight, midnight <clears throat> until Monday. Monday morning at yeah. like eight a.m. Yeah. Yeah. So no you're alcohol. saying California isn't as awesome as we think we are. <laughs> Well, other states think we're awesome. No, other states love (laughs) us us. because they think all we do is serve. I love California. I love California. They love the weather. This is what non-native Californians think about California. I'm going to tell you right now. So I was born in Rhode Island. My family's from Rhode Island, but I grew up in Nashville. Okay, so we're all East Coast. Yeah. Okay. I had been to California one time in my life when I was 13, 14. I had an aunt who worked at MGM. So I was in Culver City, mm-hmm. LA, 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 the yeah. picturesque yeah. California yeah. Yeah, that yeah. y'all project oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, the yeah, rest yeah, of the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So when I first moved to the Valley <laughs> in 2009. Where the palm trees at? <laughs> of all places in the Valley yeah. that my parent, that my dad and my stepmom happened to live in was Kalinga. Oh, oh wow. my! That is so, and it was like June or July of 2009. So I like I left all my stuff. I was in North Carolina at the time. So I like left all my winter coats with my mom. I left everything. I'm like I don't need I don't need a winter coat. I don't need yeah. this. I'm going to California. And I wound up in Kalinga. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely that's not like a movie. And, uh, yeah. that's, wow. No, that's Kalinga the armpit of California. Yeah. And and so, so you were right next to Harris Ranch. So yeah. So but I expected all of California to be yes. LA. Yeah, LA, yes. yeah. And yeah. I got it. Jim. Nobody when I tell people back home when I when I moved oh, back for a little bit, like they're like, Well, you know what was that? I'm like, honestly, it's like here. It's country, mm-hmm. it's farms, yeah. it's 
hot as hell. It smells like It cows. gets cold. Yeah. It smells yeah. awful. I'm yeah. like, it's not yeah. as great as they yeah. make it out to be. <laughs> yeah, that's the perception yeah. that the yeah, whole world uh-huh. have of yeah. California. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Palm trees. When stuff. I moved to the South Atlanta, they're like, oh, you're from California. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. All you guys do is surf and smoke. <laughs> yep. And then, and then you go to Hollywood and you can see Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's it. Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds. Yes, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, oh, That's yeah. for us. Oh wait, you guys are Ryan Reynolds fan? Yeah. Yes, we are. That's really? Anyway, back to smoking. Yeah, back to question. Back to smoke. I was, I was gonna ask Sarah. Um, Sarah, you started at thirteen. How much was cigarette? What was cigarette Ooh. cost at that time? Yeah, couple bucks. No way. But I also started in Tennessee. Okay. Oh, so I don't know what it was here. What is it now today? Maybe seven bucks, eight bucks a pack. Maybe wow. nine bucks. I think no, it's more than that. that. Ten, eleven. Like well, 10? here in California, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. But in the yeah. south, is cheap. Yeah. Cheap. Before oh, it was yeah. like four or five bucks. I was yeah. buying, I was buying packs, and I was smoking Marlboros, and I was getting yeah. them for two, wow. two fifty, three fifty wow. a pack. Yeah, because I was buying wow. a pack of cigarette in Vegas. It was fifteen dollars a pack. Mm. <laughs> yeah, in Vegas. Vegas? Yeah, oh, and because and gas is six seventy nine in Vegas. Yeah, it's just wait, we just gas. Oh wow! I didn't pump at that gas station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gas station <laughs> I pumped that was four twenty five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, why would you buy cigarettes in Vegas? I'm glad you asked. Yeah. I was getting to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, because you know how like they don't have me- California doesn't have menthol. No menthol. Yeah. Mm. So right. well, no, no, not don't not in California. Only in they only have in federal land. Only federal land has menthol. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, California don't sell menthol no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that passed. Yeah. Huh? yeah. 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 Oh. Passed. Yeah. Yeah. So, menthol, I had to get it. Yeah. Flavored. Flavored vape. Flavored vape. Mm-hmm. Flavored yeah. vape. Yeah. Cartridge. Yeah. They, they don't mm-hmm. sell that no more. So, no. Um, there's people that still smoke here, so they asked me to grab a p- couple pack for them. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I bought it. Well, people go up to Chick Chaps. Wait, wait, wait. Are you incriminating yourself oh, right he now? he is. Wow. I can't he, believe he's he no, 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 no. I can't sell it legally, but I could give it out. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing illegal about giving oh, it away. Okay. <laughs> right. They only you could only purchase menthol in in, in tribal lands like yeah. Chukchansi Casino. Like they have menthol everywhere. That's why mm-hmm. people in the valley go up there to go buy it. You know, yeah. they they go up to tribal land to go buy that right. stuff. Right. Still bad. Still bad. People don't 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 go up there. Yeah. But, still but bad. Mm-hmm. Why why menthol being banned? Like I don't, I don't get know. It. I, don't I know. think they're doing it in stages. I don't know, but men, smoking menthol is totally different than smoking regular cigarettes. Why, why is that? Is it stronger? Or it was, no, it's smoother. Well, so okay, oh. so it depends. So because I've I've smoked all the whole range: lights, reds, menthols, Newports, mm-hmm. all the things. Um. The first couple times it is harsher, but the overall like when it, you inhale, it is smoother and it's cool. It cools. The mm. menthol actually cools. Where when you hit a regular cigarette, when you smoke a regular cigarette, it's very harsh and it it does it does hurt. Like yeah. no matter what. Um, so it kind of like halls then. Like you're, yeah, you have halls mm-hmm. in your mouth and you're smoking it. It has mm-hmm. that cooling effect. Yeah. Wow. I want to know what the study is that is like. How does it affect your lungs when you're smoking menthol? You know, I'm sure there's a versus study out there. Regular, yeah. yeah, versus regular, regular cigarettes. Wow, Soma, you you reading that um your no, data right there? No, you no, you want to read data, it? Yeah, it looks Soma. like you want to read it. Can you share what's on that? What's on that? Uh, All your homework, and we want to see what you got. Saying two million children under 18 currently use e-cigarette. <sighs> As many as 10 million kids are at risk for trying the products. Oh, wow. Jesus. That's, that's just some of the stats. When that's, a, that. that's a big stat. That's current stats yes. right now? Wow. Current. Wow. That's massive. So now are we worried that uh, Evate is going to take over cigarette? And yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. It is. It definitely is. Mm-hmm. Well, it's future. cheaper. It's yeah. cheaper. Yeah. It cooler. tastes better. Mm-hmm. It looks cooler. It. Yeah. It's sneakier. Yeah, sneakier. Yeah. And I think tobacco industry. Does it make your teeth yellow? I don't know if it makes your teeth yellow. I don't no, think so. It I don't think it does. It doesn't have the tar. Yeah, no. It doesn't have the tar. Yeah. So now, I know we talked about nicotine. Yeah. So what happens when people vape and they take the nicotine out? They just want the the, the smoke, flavor? The smoke effect. The, smoke the flavor. Effect? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that becomes part of the habit part yeah. of mm-hmm. it. Yeah. And you mentioned that earlier, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Like, you grew into a habit where mm-hmm. you felt at ease, un- unease when you were with friends, a social mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. And you just took a puff. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Get, getting away from smoking is is really one of the hardest habits and i ask, ask a lot of smokers mm-hmm. they can't stop you it's know, hard they, it's hard i mm-hmm. i i mean i tried probably 
You I, did the patch? Did you do the patch? I did try the oh, patch. Did it work? Nope. Mm-hmm. I tried the gum. I tried the patch. Jeez. I tried switching to the vapes when they originally came out. Um, I did quit my first pregnancy, and then I started back up when he was six months old, when mm-hmm. his dad and I split up. Um, so stress, I went right back to it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a crutch. Um, and so when I finally did quit this last time, um, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know what the difference was. I don't know why mm. it was any different. Um, I think it was more just once I, cause I quit earlier in my pregnancy with my daughter than I did with my son. Yeah. And so it did, the pregnancies were very different and mm. it made me a lot more, a lot sicker just to and smell it. Mm. So, I mean, within the first few months of like quitting, I was like, you know, somebody would be standing outside of a grocery store or whatever, or like or in a parking lot and smoking. And I'm like, <laughs> Why? I'm like, yeah. I was this asshole mm-hmm. that I'm like, this is mm-hmm. why? Why are why are they standing out here doing this? And I'm like, oh shit, this is what people thought about me. Mm-hmm. This is what I was doing. Mm-hmm. I was out here with these mm-hmm. people who yeah. they're not asking to inhale yeah. my my chemicals, yeah. you know? And yeah. and so yeah, so it I don't know what it was this time, yeah. but it just kind of uh, well, cold turkey. Did you cold turkey? It? Yeah. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Did. Mm-hmm. But it was it was uh, weed and cigarettes, so I quit them both together. Oh, mm-hmm. And so it was kind of, yeah. I think that might have been the, the difference. You know, it also affects our work environment because oh, yeah. it's disruptive mm-hmm. to our coworkers because if you're a smoker, you got to go smoke every half mm-hmm. hour to an hour, and here you are in a meeting, we got to get out, and this and that. It's like, well, I'm not taking a break. That's not fair just because I don't mm-hmm. smoke, but you got to go out there and smoke because you need it. when I was a smoker. Yeah. That is like... <laughs> That's not fair. Yeah. So yeah, it's just a disruptive of your work environment as well. And, and and like I said, if you're a smoker, you gotta go and smoke. So you take your you're supposed to take your two, two, two fifteen minute breaks, breaks yeah. and lunch, <laughs> but they take more than two fifteen minute mm-hmm. breaks. I don't remember those because <laughs> yeah. I used yeah. to go break with them. I don't <laughs> smoke. I about <laughs> twenty minute break. Yeah. Right. I'm like, you guys extra taking, five minutes. <laughs> right. If you guys taking breaks, I'm taking it too. Mm-hmm. And like. I'm saving money because my cancer is free. Yeah. You guys paying for yours. Yeah. <laughs> you, that's child, you're not secondhand smoking next to them, or are you standing? No, f- I'm secondhand far. smoking with them. Oh. Like I'm just right there, just hanging out, just like this, this smoking, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, but you know, I just ignore so you it. Don't, you don't smoke uh, directly. You smoke indirectly. <laughs> yeah, I'm cheap. Secondhand. <laughs> <laughs> I want to buy that. I you don't got to pay. I bum the air yeah. off of you. <laughs> you don't got to pay. So mm-hmm. now, like. Um, what do you think we could do to help the youth, like, not get fall into that, you know, yeah. environment, yeah, environment and getting stuck into the habit of smoking? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I think it starts at the household. Mm-hmm. I think it starts with the parent. That's where it starts, you know, and, and you need to educate the kids or as they're growing, right? Okay, but... I don't think that... There's no butts here. No, no. I don't. I don't think that. No, there are butts. I don't think that it should be a rule, but yeah. I think we should teach them how to handle it. Yeah, right? I mean, when, as when long as up. so, with that though, right. I think that comes from community resources yes. or you know mm-hmm. companies such as yes. California Health Collaborative, right. who are giving resources to help parents do the teaching because, yes. like, so I am a domestic violence survivor, and mm-hmm. so having conversations with my kids about that is is something that I'm a little more comfortable with Mm -hmm. other people aren't comfortable with because they haven't done that so whether you're a smoker or not that's going to kind of influence how you have those conversations and a lot of parents I mean I have a 14 year old and a seven year old I have a really I'm lucky I have a really good relationship with both my kids my kids are freaking phenomenal I know so many people who don't have good relationships right. with their yeah. kids, yeah. Right. and when you're when you don't have a good relationship with your parent, and they're mm-hmm. they're teaching you or trying to talk to you, it comes out like like Snoopy and Charlie yeah. and womp yeah. womp womp, yeah, and it's just sure. a lecture, yeah. no matter how you approach yes. it. So I really think the the first step is having community resources that parents can really yes. lean on that mm-hmm. teach from different perspectives yes. too because no kid learns the same as another yes. kid either mm-hmm. yeah. so me teaching lucky one thing could be totally different from how yes. charles mm-hmm. would learn it and mm-hmm. even you know and that's how all kids are so having a vast a vast majority or like a vast resource right. list i think is the first step right. yeah and so how so would much. we start that yeah well 
let me tell you, a lot of the Asian family, and I am one of them, you know, um, everything is no, no, no from the parents to the kids. When you say, no, you can't do this, no, you can't do this, no, you can't do this, the kid rebels. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The kid's going to do it. So found a way to talk to them. Asian parents are not good at conversing, mm -hmm. showing their emotions, hugging their kids. Mm -hmm. Their way of showing love is, here's $100. Mm -hmm. Here's your um, mm -hmm. PlayStation. Here's designer Here's Pizza Hut this weekend. Yes. <laughs> That's their way of showing yeah. love. Mm -hmm. So what we need is to educate, like I said, the parents, because like I said, I was still reading that story about this Indian kid. Fascinating. It was like, okay, so the parents is like, no, 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 but maybe change the parents' mm -hmm. attitude and go, hey, you want to have a sit? You want to sit down? Let's talk about what what you did today at school. Sure. How was school? You start slowly getting to know what they're mm -hmm. doing. Oh, I was so stressed. I didn't do well because I did this test for the AP test. That's when you know, oh, your kid's stressing. Mm -hmm. And or their way of getting rid of the stress is they smoke, they yeah. drink. You got to get the parents to first get to know what your mm -hmm. kid is doing. That's the most important thing. You got to take time mm -hmm. to talk to your kid about what their daily activities are mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. they're feeling. Sure. Talk about you, Charles. Wait, so you saying I can't just tell my kids, no, don't smoke, that's not good. No, that's yeah. enough. No, don't no, do that. Don't See, do that. Lucky, it don't work. <laughs> Here we go again. No, I think it's it's deeper than that. You yeah. should tell them that. Right? Mm -hmm. You should but tell them. But you need them to that. explain why. But you yeah. need to explain why. You have to say no, no, no. And, yes. and, and, and like you were saying, right? <clears throat> For those parents that don't know, because, you know, when we become mm -hmm. parents, mm -hmm. nobody's going to teach you how to be a dad. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to teach yes. you how to be a mom. There's no right? book for that. you got to yeah. take responsibility yeah. for yourself because that kid is your responsibility. Yep. So mm -hmm. you got to grow up and say, hey, mm -hmm. I don't want my child to grow up and be this way. Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to educate. But at the same time, it's like, you know, to me, I believe in free will. So I want to give my son or daughter, right? as much resource as I can and then he mm -hmm. has to be able to make that smart yeah. decision. Mm -hmm. you know, but I mean that starts them. just early parenting right. and, yes. and yeah. cultivating that type of relationship yes. because mm -hmm. if yes. you don't have that open, honest, mm -hmm. trusting relationship, yes. they're not going to want to hear anything right. you say. Like my right. daughter is seven and we went to go get our nails done a couple of weeks ago <laughs> uh -huh. and, and the girl doing our nails, she goes, you talk to her like, like she's your best friend. I'm like, because why why would I treat her any differently than right. any mm -hmm. other human? And like people, yeah. people look at kids as just little adults that we're molding mm -hmm. to do things. Yeah. Yes. But then they get angry when they have big emotions mm -hmm. and don't know how to express they know them. know how to deal yeah. with it. 95% yeah. of the adults I know don't know how to handle exactly. their big emotions. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So why are we yes. holding children to a higher standard yep. than yes. we're holding adults? Mm -hmm. right. So I feel like, yeah, you can say no, but you have yes. to also get down to their level and treat them yeah. as a human as mm. an individual and treat them like hey you know what no this isn't good but this is why it's not good this is what could happen this is what you know could be a health problem for you this could be and just you know give them the facts yeah. but uh -huh. it also depends on the age level yes. Yes. so mm -hmm. teenagers yeah. you can be a little bit more hey you know what this is going to cause this health problem this health problem this health problem this is going to affect this down the road this is going to create these right. addictions and these mm -hmm. habits because one of the things, too, is I know for me, smoking did lead to other addictions. It did lead yes. to other drugs. Mm -hmm. It did lead to mm -hmm. drinking. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that I, a lot of teens and kids, when they start, they mm -hmm. don't think that it's going to be a, a gateway to all these other things. Mm -hmm. They're just thinking, I need it's, something to get the edge off. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But it ultimately... It's like a coping it mechanism. It is. For and them. then yeah. it just leads to another coping mechanism yeah. and another coping mechanism. It's something stronger, mm -hmm. right. which leads right. to the strongest is, of course, the drugs. Yep. Now, now, what about teenagers that are already heavily smoking mm -hmm. how would you guys combat something like that that are already yeah. doing it right but then we have resources in place mm -hmm. but how do we get to those people do you guys have any ideas or is that kind of like oh man like you know we can only well, do so no, much I mean, it's a personal have, responsibility have, right you know how you're in school like i said it starts right. now at the mm -hmm. young age sixth yes. seventh grader you got to have the resources mm -hmm. outside yes. to come into mm -hmm. the school. 
and mm-hmm. talk about it, educate, teach, and maybe former addicts and yes. tell what they went well, through. Well, a flaw yeah. I've yeah. seen with that, though, is a lot of the schools don't want to be responsible for being yeah. that. I agree. Because, mm-hmm. like, with my, yeah. with my son's school last year with eighth grade, I mean... There were so many things that happened and it just got swept under the rug mm. and they would do like one little, here's a blurb to the parents. This is what happened. Have fun talking mm. to your kid. You know, they don't want to take that responsibility and it could be a legal thing with the district. It could, you know, mm-hmm. it, it could be further than that. But I think that is very important. We do need, need to it. get yeah. programs to come into the schools. So when I was at a, at a nonprofit last year, um, we yeah. did abuse awareness and prevention. Yeah. And so I was able to go into a couple schools. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was fortunate that I, I had relationships with people who worked there. But it sucks that it has to be I have mm-hmm. an inside connection to get in and talk about something as prevalent as abuse. And smoking's the same way. Mm-hmm. We shouldn't have to... It, it shouldn't be pulling teeth to get resources in to talk to kids right. from yeah. a different level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, th- I think also, like, you know, what Toby mentioned about age... If they're over certain 21, 25, it's going to be a little bit more challenging. Mm-hmm. But if you think about high school folks, you know, mm-hmm. <clears throat> kind of already started, but into the senior year, they're still doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, I think like CHC does a great job of sharing, having some information. Yeah. I think there are local nonprofits mm-hmm. out there that gets funding from the state to right. do these educational programs, you know. But yeah. again, like, we we talked about earlier, like what is that eight cut off age where where you? I think incentives, like incentives? education yeah. with, incentives with incentives, would be a yeah. much better sure. approach sure. because, I mean, especially for for the the mid the younger to mid range teens, yeah. you know, because they'll gladly do things for mm-hmm. money or right. for a PlayStation right. yeah. or, or a you know, Slurpee. Or <laughs> <laughs> some, you get him free Seven Eleven. Yeah. Yes, you know, I mean. I yeah. feel like incentivizing mm. the the positives of quitting mm. versus just constantly, like that. you yeah. know, harping on the negatives. Because, yeah. I mean, like when you tell a kid, no, uh, don't jump on the couch. All they hear is yeah. jump on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> they don't hear don't. don't. Yeah. So yeah. the negative automatically gets mm-hmm. blocked out. So yeah. I really feel like maybe if it came from a positive and incentivized mm-hmm. yes. approach, it would be more received. Yeah. yeah. Because only honestly, if I was a kid and if I was smoking, right, mm-hmm. and there's some guy, some girl come in let, that I don't know, right? Because mm-hmm. you know, teen, they're rebellious, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like, who are you to tell me what not I can't to smoke, do? What yeah. I can't do, so right? Do and, and, and a lot of kids, and they, they have that out. attitude. They tune mm-hmm. it out. Yeah. So whatever you're saying is womp 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 womp, 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 womp right? So, yeah. so mm-hmm. once they're already doing that and they have that attitude behind mm-hmm. it, it gets a little more difficult to get through to them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then from there they snowball and they, they yeah. go from there. But really, I think we should capture them, and it starts at the home. It mm-hmm. starts from gathering the resources, yeah. and it starts from the parent, you know, being mm-hmm. there and building the relationship. Yeah. Uh, with the kid but once they get there it's challenging like lucky yeah. said to kind of reverse that that mm-hmm. process mm-hmm. you know it's hard remember when mm-hmm. we were 16 i thought i knew everything mm-hmm. yeah. like, we mm-hmm. argue with parents all the time <laughs> yep. oh, yeah you know and, yeah. I, and i think you know i highlight early like when i was younger i knew that it was a bad thing yeah. Yeah. now did my friends knew that yeah. maybe no. maybe not no. but they were the one who was smoking mm-hmm. so for me i took a step back was like yeah. hey man yeah. maybe i shouldn't i shouldn't be doing that you know mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. peer pressure is the B. It yep. is. It yeah. is the B. In, th- in that community, that space, yep. that age group, yep. yeah. man, you, you, you can't go nowhere without seeing one of your peers smoking mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then passing it on or making, made like someone mm-hmm. said, put it, getting put down or, or yep. that peer pressure yeah. or making mm-hmm. fun of, right? Mm-hmm. And you want to just lean that way and do yeah. it now. I yeah. think with the vaping yes. community now, like even with young folks, Cigarettes out, but I definitely think it's growing, you know. Yeah. And I, I, mm-hmm. I we sh- we talk about this on a podcast here, right? To really highlight some of that, what are we seeing now? And it's it's gonna be a tough transition, really, really tough, you know. And like Toby mentioned, from going from our parents now, it has to be where you're spinning not only on TikTok and Facebook and on your mm-hmm. phone more, mm-hmm. but I think you need to be intentional with yep. your child mm-hmm. and sit yeah. down with them and be like, hey, mm-hmm. man. I'm going to keep telling you this until you figure it out as an adult yeah. if this is bad or not, you know? Yeah. And, and I think that's where we're at today, mm-hmm. you know? Well, so, not yeah, not only that, like, 
we need to teach them how like to choose their friends because mm-hmm. yes. their environments could be very important. True, a true. group yeah. of people that they hang out with. For sure. Like if you got a bunch of rebel kids that wants oh, yeah. to, you know, go against everything because they are stressing and then yeah. don't know how to express themselves. Sure. And your kids is hanging out with them, then it's easy to pick mm-hmm. it up. Yeah. And also like they gotta learn how to be able to a leader, be a leader, mm-hmm. to where if. You know, they can make their own decisions and not be influenced so easily. Not a leader. Friends. I think independent. Right? Independent. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Independent. And then um, that will help them, you know, make a decision like, okay, uh, if I want to do this yeah. or not. And if they do, um, just know that they have consequences. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if they know the consequences and they could accept the consequences, then, you know, I mean, at least I think they'll make a better choice. Just choice. They'll have, they'll just have that, uh, that good and bad devil yeah, on them, mm-hmm. right? Of course. Everybody yeah, had yeah, that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, so bad. And another thing that I think could help uh, with the people that's already smoking is the people that's selling it. Mm-hmm. If they get a bigger fine, yeah. or get yes. you know harder punishment. Mm-hmm. So, like if you're selling it at Seven Eleven and a kid came at eighteen and trying to buy a vape, and you like, you know, what, I'm gonna buy it. To, uh, you know, I'm selling it to him. Yeah, and they get caught. Like, got to be something to where you like, Shh, yeah. it's not worth it. Yeah. Making this extra $5 is just not worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're saying we need a sting department in the Hell cigarette? Yeah. yeah. So me and you could. <laughs> I'm going to be like. Yeah. You just vice? go in there, pretend to buy it, yeah. and then. Yep. Uh, you guys are mystery shoppers. Yeah. yeah, we, yeah. Oh, oh like, mystery shoppers. Yeah. Yeah. Mystery yeah. shoppers. Yeah. Well, you know. Hey, you could do that. Have the kid, right? <laughs> like, hire the kid. Mm-hmm. As mystery shoppers. How much are you paying? I've got a 14-year-old. Okay. I just work for food. work for food? Oh, man. Cheap. We could do that. <laughs> we could do that. No, I, I went to a few Asian events, and I think out of twenty guys, fifteen guys had vapes. Yeah. Dude, that's so. Just, yeah, that number it's like is an increase. Yeah, it's an increase. I, and I get our really our state, our state ain't the best state, right? Because we have we first the legalized marijuana. Mm. Yeah. Right. We banned vape, but we but, still see vape yeah. here today. Mm-hmm. The vape shops. The vape shops. It's growing too. Yeah, that, I know. That, it's like every other store. Store, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like a donut shop. <laughs> what if they made a law like I don't know? Maybe. Well, for me, I don't think you could sell uh, vape anymore. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't think no, you can. No, in no, California, you, you can't. Smoke? No, I don't. I don't think you. Yes, you can't. You can't do it. Yeah, Toby. You, you, you but can't. Still people still do it. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the that's the back. That's back what market. I'm saying. It's yeah. Like mm-hmm. the laws that are coming out, it's not going to deter it's not them from getting. The, uh, you, you the can still stuff. Sell, Look at Charles. Yeah, you can still sell the jewels and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you can still uh, sell. Them. They'll find their way. No, no, I'm gonna come back to the comment, but <laughs> I gotta finish this. <laughs> but you can still buy the um, vapes. It's just certain, like the customizable one. You can't. Well, was, no, you can't. I thought it was banned altogether. It's banned, it's banned yeah, altogether, banned, unless it's tobacco. Yeah. Tobacco is not, but anything that's flavored, anything, mm. and which is majority of it, it's, it's gone. Yeah. You can't sell it. Yeah. Well, but at the same time, like. <clears throat> I said where people are going to do things regardless. When, yeah, uh, yeah regardless, man. Like, of course, that's Drinking personal. and driving, we all know yeah. it's bad. And we all know, like, big consequences. We speed all the time, right? Yeah, we speed. I think, I, think, I think for me, when I think about kids and smoking, I just think about how does it look when a kid sees it, mm-hmm. the image of that. I think when I go to school, if I saw a, a guy at a stop sign where the kids are stopping and he's puffing, and the kids are walking by smell. I, I think for me, that bothers me a bit. Because mm-hmm. I don't know if kids have a great imagery on things. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. they see that. They're like, I want to do that too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So for me, if I was to come up with something, I know it ain't going to stop him anyways. Because like mm-hmm. we said, they're going to run a red light. They're going to run a red light. But if I could deter that part of it, that imagery, like, hey, you need to smoke a thousand feet away from school. That's mm-hmm. all. You could smoke after a thousand o- thousand and one feet go for it go do what you yeah. want to do but uh, but that proximity i don't think i don't think it's necessary well they there's a law yeah. <coughs> that if you're in your car and you have kids under 18 you can't smoke oh really when did they yeah. pass that when did you do that i forgot what it it's, is but in california? california yeah in california it's you can't smoke. oh that's good that's yeah. good yeah. that's good yeah. so I you're in the car and there's kids in there you can't smoke yeah you can't smoke you can't roll down the window and say you know you're blowing it i didn't know that's a law that's cool you can't do that very um, cool. The That's other cool. thing was smoking in buildings or a public, not public building, but private buildings and stuff. Mm-hmm. You can't do that. 20 oh, yeah. feet. I mean, yeah, no, my, my apartment complex, uh, they just sent out a notice maybe a month ago yeah. that mm-hmm. there is no smoking on premises at all. Oh, you wow. literally, you have to 
walk yeah. off the property yeah. to go smoke. Yeah, now. there's a lot wow. of people following suit yeah. doing, doing that. So uh, there are stuff yeah, there are, in there place. are stuff in place. The casino, right. casino, oh, yeah. yeah. Table Mound for the longest had smoking mm -hmm. in the casino. Mm -hmm. When they opened up the new one, just uh, maybe two years ago, they banned smoking. So you have to smoke yeah. in a designated area. You literally yeah. have to walk out of the casino. I mm -hmm. went up there because I had a friend that smoked. I'm like, where are you going? He goes, oh, we can't smoke in the casino. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was a study out about people gambling oh, yeah. and inhaling the second hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. it, it was crazy. I used to smoke. I would go to Tachi when yeah. I lived down in like Lamore and Hanford. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. You yeah. 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 And uh, I've seen them uh, be out there smoking in the Disney area yeah. while it was raining. I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, yeah. these people were oh, dedicated. Right. Oh, yeah. Dedicated. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, like, right well, now, it's, 100, it's 105 and they're degrees. Out there smoking. Smoking. Yeah. I was still out and, there every wow. day when wow. I was smoking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, if people are this dedicated to like work smoking. and doing yeah. school and stuff. <laughs> if they're dedicated, oh, yeah. Yeah. A little bit differently. Yeah. 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 If they're dedicated to more of school and work, <laughs> this world would be a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, funny. Yeah. What about the airports? I mean, you have smokers, and they in that room, and I'm like, they have a smoking room at the mm -hmm. airport. At the oh, airport, like, certain airports. I don't think yeah, all airports no. have it. Though. Yeah, it's like you can go and smoke there. I was mm -hmm. like, this is weird. I never noticed Atlanta that. International mm -hmm. Airport has it. Yeah, I've never noticed. I never noticed nobody either. ever smoked in an airport, huh? Yeah, no. nobody. But certain airports have it. No certain way. airports do have and designated of, yeah. smoking mm -hmm. rooms. Atlanta mm -hmm. International Airport, yep. the busiest airport in the world. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure yeah, Chicago. Really. I think Chicago does, yeah. if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. What about what about um, what's the bottom piece of the cigarette? What is that called? The bud. The bud. The bud. The bud. Don't you just butt. hate it when it's everywhere on the <laughs> oh, ground? Yes, mm -hmm. that butt. Like, go ahead and smoke, man. But don't but, litter. But don't, can you just throw it away? Mm -hmm. Like somebody yeah. should get a ticket for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. they should. Everything. Honestly, well, not I mean, just cigarette butts on everything. That's what I'm saying. I mean, no, I'm I genuinely can't. curious too. How many of like look here in the valley? Like how dry we are. How many of the fires oh, that we get on the freeway? Because oh, right. when I first moved out here, I was a smoker, and yeah. I had uh, the the guy I was dating. He was not a smoker. Never been a smoker in his life. And he would always get on to me about throwing mm -hmm. my cigarette because I would throw my cigarette butts out the window. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I'm driving yeah. down the freeway. Yeah. And he's like, you're going to start a fire. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then I'm like, oh, wait a second. Oh, so, like, I'm sense. genuinely curious how many oh, yeah. fires are caused by cigarettes. And I think it's cool to flick it, too, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, because old, old school movies yeah, depict school it. Yeah, old school Yeah. They go like this. Mm -hmm. And they flicked it. Uh, so James I do, Dean. I do yep, want to try that yep. where the I think I blow up a plane or something and they yeah. smoke a cigarette. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe yeah. then I will like a cigarette. All the Bruce Willis movies. Yeah, are they walking the real slow? That's the one cigarette Charles ever smoked. Yep. <laughs> What's he smoking? I want to do that too. That's funny. We talk about like advertisement. Yeah. Before they, they ban mm -hmm. advertisement with cigarettes, right? Mm -hmm. But there is social media now. Like oh, yeah. TikTok, Instagram. Oh, they are. Just mm -hmm. making it more sexier. More sexier. Yeah. Young mm -hmm. people are blowing. 12, 13 years old. Because remember, yeah. the, the yes. young ones are the ones that are starting social media already. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they see yeah. it. But what about yeah. the way they smoke? They're doing donuts. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're yes. doing. They're doing. I don't. I see one guy that inhaled and took it all back and oh, did it again. Oh my gosh! Wow. They have that's skills. That's, that's no. what I'm saying. They have I want to see that. They, I mean, they have competition. I'm impressed, yeah. but <laughs> I don't want. Like, yeah. But I want to see yeah. it. Yeah. Charles yeah. said there's competitions for that. Yeah, yeah. there's so competition. There's really? competition mm -hmm. just for smoking. The, for the vaping to do oh, the, the uh, tricks and mm -hmm. stuff where they make like waterfalls oh they make all really? back, back yeah. in the day it was just to do the O's O's yeah. Yeah. O's yeah. that's it oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You you now, now wait now yeah. they do other stuff yeah, yeah. like they could do four O's at a time just doing this yeah. oh and then four O's would come out and then they'll throw another O mm -hmm. right into in, the in the middle right in the middle though yeah in the middle the O yeah really like dude they they like do See, all kind of crazy at, look tricks. At, look at three grown adults yeah. amused yeah. and entertained yeah. by that. Well, yeah. Imagine, yeah. imagine yeah. kids. Imagine kids. Imagine wow. kids, right? Yeah. And then that's. You guys are all like, I'm wow. amused by it. Yeah. I'm like, wow, yeah. that's pretty. That's yeah. skills. That's pretty cool. Know? Yeah. And that's the reason how they market and mm -hmm. do all that. Of but course. like we shared earlier, if we are continue being persistent with our youth, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. they get to make that decision, right? Yeah. They get to figure out if that's something like Charles mentioned. They get to figure out if that's something I want to do in the future. And mm -hmm. we're living a time where it's really, really hard, you know, especially mm -hmm. with our technology, yep. with the influences. Mm -hmm. I think we had it worse now than we did before when I was younger because mm -hmm. we didn't really have social media no. to show none of that, mm -hmm. you know. And and mm -hmm. I think the media has taken a different toll. Yeah. Um, 
I can't talk bad about the tobacco business because that's their job. That's their livelihood. That's what they do. I get it. But I think in the future, you know, I'm trying to figure out what conversations will I have for my nephews who's going to be mm-hmm. growing up. How, how would I have this conversation with them? You know, and I think us talking is, is pretty cool and, and very, very co- converse about ways we could target this, you know, mm-hmm. in, a, in a positive direction. Right. So how would you like... What would you like to see as far as the educational material to teach your nephews? Like, what, what, what do you from like yeah. from your standpoint? What do yeah. you think would gain their attention to be like not? Nah, well, I think cool you know that. when I think about when we were growing up, what did we have? Dare. Yeah. Right, we had oh, dare, yeah, right? we had dare. Say no dare, to drugs. Yeah, say no to oh, drugs. Yeah. Do they still have that now? Or no? No. no. No, they don't have no? that. No, that program they, ran they, There's a they, different kind else? of program. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it or the watchdog. doesn't really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, but that's the thing. They don't go into the schools and they don't do stuff like no they more. used to. Yeah. Oh, my God. So you know, even like in like even like in churches or mm-hmm. where kids are congregating a little bit more, and then just have materials, have hotlines, mm-hmm. have animals that portray a positive in- image because kids of animal? love animals. Llama. 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 Make it a llama. Oh. So, <laughs> bad so, llama. <laughs> not an alpaca. But I mean, come yeah. on, look at how popular yeah. that one llama right. on yeah. Fortnite was. Yeah. I'm just. No, so. I'm just thinking like, <laughs> like uh, a Nemo fish that Nemo don't smoke or whatever. Yeah. We're, gonna yeah. stick, we're gonna stick with llama. Yeah, llama. <laughs> whatever <laughs> whatever what, it is, you know. What and, about um? cultures that have smoking as part of oh, their culture, their culture. Well, yeah. like the, the middle east, the middle east. Mm-hmm. they smoke like that's part of egypt their yeah that's part yeah. of like hookahs mm-hmm. Hookah, and what yeah. was that yeah. Yeah. it's part yeah, of it indian, how, yeah. yeah indian mm-hmm. is part of their culture so how yeah. do we you know tackle something like that where it's like hey this is bad mm-hmm. this is whatever you know what i mean i how? mean i think for that you would have to find a way to educate and differentiate between like the reasonings yeah. of why. Because the information is out there, right? Yeah. They're saying, man, smoking oh. is bad, smoking is bad. But for generations, mm-hmm. right, like it's been so ingrained in that culture. Right? Yeah. It's like kind of trying to change a part of that culture. But I mean, too. I feel like as a as society as a whole has right. been kind of making a lot of changes to break a lot of generational <sighs> culture mm-hmm. biases and habits and things along that nature. So I feel like if they were to start introducing educational resources that were more on the level of the kids, it would help to continue mm-hmm. breaking those generational culture biases. And also well, materials in the native yeah. in the native yes. culture. Yeah. Yeah. We don't we don't see a lot of that. Mostly mm-hmm. it's in English, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah. the Spanish community has a really they have a better But I don't feel marketing. that the Spanish yes. community has as heavy of a cultural background no. in smoking yeah. as yeah. Egyptian Asian. or yeah. Asian. Middle East. Yeah. Yeah. Middle East. Yeah. Yeah. Asian for sure. Yeah. 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 Well, because, I mean, I know a lot of my Hispanic friends, they're yeah. the least Smoke is, common yeah. of the smoking I think population. drinking is more prevalent. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Drinking yeah. is more prevalent yeah. in the Hispanic yeah. community. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's hard to battle a whole culture. Yeah, yeah. for it sure. It is, yeah. especially sure. the Indian. Like I said, I was reading the story about this Indian-American boy just going through it. It's like, do you know how many people live in India? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. the biggest, you know, country. Most heavily populated. And country, yeah, and right. they most of them smoke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like that one meme of the little uh, Chinese kid smoking a, a pack of cigarettes a day. He's really chunky, and he became a meme. And then I think I he made China's money for part yeah. Of it too, mm-hmm. yeah. He, and so he made money for his family. So mm-hmm. his family is like, you know, encouraging him to continue smoking because yeah. they were making money. Because they were poverty stricken. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, sometimes money is just a big factor. Yeah. I yeah. think being consistent, like kind of to echo what you sh- share a little bit, Sarah, like being consistent with your message, mm-hmm. that's crucial and important. Because mm-hmm. I remember when I saw a, a, a black lung. Oh, yeah. Oh. I remember when that teacher just said, this is a clean yeah. lung and this yeah. is a black lung. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just for me, who, who actually was not really educated in the health reasons, right? Mm-hmm. I saw that image and I said, well, I don't want to have a black lung, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. To me, that scared me a little bit. Mm-hmm. But the 20 kids that were in that school, mm-hmm. 10 of them still smoked. Mm-hmm. So for yeah. me, if that teacher wasn't persistent enough, yeah. 
I would have never well, saw that picture. But so I think that also kind of goes back to what I was saying, though, where <coughs> it you have to have multiple approaches. Approaches, like we can't, sure. Yeah. We can't yeah. keep with the it's same one shoe cookie thing. cutter yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. we've For always sure. tried to do. We For have sure. to mm-hmm. learn to adapt yeah. because society, education as a whole, I feel like they've already kind of well for a little while they started realizing that they couldn't teach the same way like when my son was in fourth grade his teacher was amazing she had um like different ways so she had like short tables long tall tables uh flexible chairs it was like a flexible seating classroom so that kids who learned differently could you know if they were more comfortable on a couch or if they were more comfortable on the floor if they you know standing sitting and I feel like, as a whole, the educational society really needs to take that approach when it comes to topics like topics, this. Yeah. Because what you tell me might go in one ear and out the sure. other, where yeah. Selma sure. might pick it up. And yeah. I'm definitely a very much in one ear, out the other person yeah, yeah, for yeah. most conversations. Oh, yeah. um, you know, and, yeah. and teen, especially with social media, the, the attention span that it's caused oh for gosh. kids, the, yeah. or the lack sure. of attention span. Yeah, I mean, you know? it's not 25 so seconds, they're not going to listen. <laughs> you know, they're not. What so, about a museum? Like a museum, like, you know, how we all go to Chocolate Factory when we were kids? Like no. a museum for... <laughs> Like a museum for bad smoking and lung and health and all that. Just for the kids to go through. I mean, that just kind of makes me think of like some World War II depression. <laughs> I don't want to go to the museum. It's depressing. Here's what Black you get lungs. from smoking. <laughs> Maybe maybe could you spin it and make it a positive side of what could happen if you don't smoke? Yeah, no, that that's basically what the museum yeah. would be about. Yeah, you know okay. I mean? like, just so like a them. little bit of, yeah. of the dark yeah. side yeah. and then... I think it was something is simpler than that because kids are impressionable. Mm-hmm. So maybe yeah. just get like a kid, like if you're looking at seven or eight, yeah. get somebody that's barely hit their teens to come and speak. That's because, right. Yeah. yeah. So the peer, the older peer, the older yeah. peer, somebody peers. that they look up to, yeah. but not quite parents to where they like, right. oh, they, oh, they don't understand yeah. me. And explain that it's yeah. not good for you. So He's like, still this your older guy still cool. Yeah. I want to mm-hmm. be like him, but let him come talk. Yeah, like mm-hmm. a. And then, like, you know, you got middle school, yeah. maybe a senior from high school, a yeah, junior yeah. from high school to come and yeah. talk. That's a good idea. That. That's yeah. definitely a good idea. I like that. I like that. I like that. Or the hero. Yeah. yeah I don't it? know, back in the days, you know, we had, like, a an athlete come talk mm-hmm. or an actor, and they'll just say, you know, this is not good for you, whatever. <laughs> 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 we all listen. Where's well, my we, money at? Yeah. 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 Well, with those, like, sometimes, like, the... Um, Can we get Ryan Reynolds? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds? I'm there. <laughs> Wait, does, Move he out, s- kid. does he smoke? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, the Former celebrities, smoker. yeah, like we see or them do things that they mm, say in the opposite of what they say. Too. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like they'll come and say, "Oh, don't smoke, don't do drugs." But behind and then the scene, on TMZ, we see them what, get, getting yeah. arrested for drugs. What's your name? Yeah. Gigi Hadid got arrested in the Cayman Islands. Yeah, oh, for well, her friends. I don't Gigi know who Hadid. that is. She's a, she's a, a, a model. 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 She's going on Leonardo DiCaprio. She just got arrested Cayman Islands for what? For bringing um. Uh, weed, it's her and her friends or something. Yeah. But yeah, they were arrested, but they were released. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The conversations you, is definitely different, like Sarah said, from different yeah. age mm-hmm. group. You know, yeah. Charles, that's a great thing for junior yeah. high school, high school yeah. kids, and all mm-hmm. that. You know, then Toby talked about young parents, right, or parents talking to those young kids. Mm-hmm. You can go as early as five, six, seven, or eight. You yeah. know, and just mm-hmm. have, not nothing crazy. Just have a brief conversation. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Talk to them like they're young adults. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. It, it's their personal responsibility mm-hmm. too. But mm-hmm. we but have to give if, them the mm-hmm. resource. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah. have parents, good, but if you're a single yeah. mom, which majority of the uh the people who go toward their peers as mm-hmm. their family yes. or gangs, yeah. Yeah. they're under that single yeah. mom umbrella. Well, I think they the, need more help. They yeah. Need yeah. More yeah. help. Yes, they, they need do. more support. Yeah, more support. There yeah. you go. And I think yeah. even like my people a little, maybe a little bit older than me in the early 90s when they were smoking the the southeast asian gang was really big yeah and i then, started yeah yeah, yeah. And the, the number one thing was actually smoking mm-hmm. in a groups in mm-hmm. a group setting right that translated into their adulthood yeah. yes their mm-hmm. nephews and nieces we talk about mm-hmm. single parents or parents asian parents who were working in the farm or yeah. doing other things taking care of business right and these kids are out there doing what they want to do. Mm-hmm. And we see that translating, you know, with the nephews, with all that. And yeah. it, it's mm-hmm. increased. But this vaping thing is a definitely a new department and a scary department mm-hmm. to be around. And we see an Asian-American youth smoking today. Yeah. 
and they're using as you mentioned some of what you said earlier flavored flavored um putting it in the mangosteen and the egg rabutan, rabutan, lychee, yeah, all the uh, fruits flavor to the, yeah. to target. Yeah. So they're going track. with Asian flavor <coughs> Asian delicacy. Flavor. Yeah, to, mm-hmm. because yeah. Asians love food to mm-hmm. attract. And yeah. a papaya yeah. salad. Papaya yeah. salad. Oh, yeah. Papaya yeah. salad. Yeah. That's big, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to. Uh, <laughs> Charles wants to try the papaya salad. You wouldn't salad. Salad. I don't have to eat it. I yeah. just got to smoke it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, what about like we um, take our time to like help teach the parents also because they may not know how to speak yeah. their, to their they kids. Don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. Yeah. Or no, most, most, no, I'm no. sorry, but they don't. most cultural uh, uh, families, mm-hmm. cultural, we don't talk they don't it. talk to we don't their talk children about in it. that, in, in yeah. that yeah. Remember, We don't talk about things. Yeah, so maybe do a parent's teacher night with the kids and have the kid, kids teach the parents and make the parents listen to the kids. So that way they like feel empowered. Psychology. Yeah. <laughs> they feel empowered. So the kids be like, you know what, mom? I know more than you. I'm smoking is bad, and I'm not oh, gonna smoke. Man, I'm I'm my, you. my son talk to me like that, they I'm gonna slap him up his head. Yeah, they get slapped. That's what I'm gonna do. See, now you guys gotta be a good parents and say, yes, kids, don't smoke. No, but if he's doing this in front of the teacher too, <laughs> yeah, he yeah. Nah, nah, you're not embarrassing me in front of the teacher. Nope. But I think and, I think there is a way. Like that's that's. Outside Somewhat outside, outside yeah, but yeah. Yeah. but but not in that context. But yeah. I, I think maybe reverse, but in a more like, hey, programs for parents to understand mm-hmm. that, hey, is this information? Am I saying it the right way? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Without offending this guy, this child, like Sarah said, mm-hmm. scoop down to their level as a child, mm-hmm. so that you could be so intimate with your own child that mm-hmm. they're actually listening to you without any anger mm-hmm. without any frustration mm-hmm. last time you your parents or your dad told you something you were frustrated i know i was because mm-hmm. i want to listen to my dad mm-hmm. Shoot, my dad went for a milk and never came back <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh right but at that age right when you're at that age you know you have all this testosterone going you have all this you know hormones raging in you yeah. you don't even know what to do yep. you ain't yeah. trying to listen to nobody because yep. you're trying to handle stuff yourself yeah. you know at that at that age you feel like the world's against you. You yeah. feel like mm-hmm. yes. nobody understands you. Yes. Right? The only people that understand you are your peers. Mm-hmm. That's how that's how mm-hmm. the kids think, you know. Yeah. So how do you like you said, so we stoop down to there yeah. and try to understand we have to get them younger than that. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe that could be something that could be looked at in the schools, right. kind of like Charles yeah. saying, not mm-hmm. necessarily that, but I mean, cuz like I know certain like guidance counselors. Mm -hmm. So like uh, my son's school last year, I have never seen a school have so many mental health professionals. They do that. I was like, there's like six of you. Yeah, they do. They do. There's Boy, like a guidance yeah. counselor yeah. plus behavioral like, health yep. and like actual mental health, yeah, and mental actual health clinicians. Clinicians. Well, well, it actually, they yeah. even have school psychologists yes. there. Yes. yes. Before they never had it. Wait, yeah, is this for like school elementary? Counselor. This was middle school, eighth grade, middle, seventh yes. and eighth grade. They're because actually the pressure, yeah. you guys. They're actually all going to have it in all the classes. The now. pressure. Yeah. The pressure. I mean, even no even way. my daughter's wow. elementary wow. school has, I believe, a psychologist. Psychologist. But the thing is, you know, I think the school system could totally leverage on that and have that kind of be like conversation mm-hmm, yeah. because they have the training yes to come at it from a different standpoint they're not your parent but they actually have the resources so maybe those counselors could pick out a couple students who mm. maybe are kind of role model students or the kids look up to or you know they see as is influential kids and have some sort of incentive program because i know like they do leadership programs yeah. where those kids are the responsible kids and they help mm. out at dances they help out with you know fundraisers those types of things Mm -hmm. you know and have have them have a program with the counselors and be like you know this is the material Material. we're gonna have you know we're we're gonna help you guys but you know we're we're gonna have Mm one-on-ones with your peers and and why smoking's bad and what alternatives you could do because i think that's another thing too a lot of kids peer pressure is is probably the biggest most prevalent thing Mm -hmm. but boredom too Mm -hmm. because especially with the i mean with the short attention spans if they're not scrolling their phones, yeah. you know, they, they're looking for something to do. Yeah. And smoking is, is an easy, yeah. easy thing easy for outlet. them to, Easy yeah. outlet. Yeah. Easy outlet. More after school well, programs. What you got there, yeah. Soma? I see you looking at your book. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what, 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 what do you want to read that? We got more notes. We wanted to read that. <laughs> I mean, it's, this is, I just thought this is the best quote. Okay. The pressure of academic rigor is enormous. 
Academic rigor manifests itself in depression and anxiety and impacts Mm self-esteem. There is definitely a close connection between depression, anxiety, and substance abuse. Mm -hmm. Children are doing whatever they can just to cope. Yeah. Wow. No, it's true. That's deep. Yeah, that's what I That's deep. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. I think Fresno Unified School District had the same conversation we were just talking about right now. They asked each other, how can we support this youth? Mm -hmm. And they came up. They actually asked the state for that money. Yeah. And they said, can we have a school psychologist and social workers now Mm -hmm. in the school? Every school. And they looked at each other and said, well, here's about $50 million. Mm -hmm. So we need to go hire these professionals. We need to go hire these professionals where, where do I and get them there. Yeah. And I have colleagues right now. They're working the school oh, yeah. system. That's amazing. This was Gosh. like, I think they started doing this about five years ago. Okay. And wow. they slowly started going into the school. Yeah. One psychologist took over three campus. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. now they're like, no, every every yeah. high school, middle school, mm-hmm. and elementary needs and a I, social I, worker. And, and, and it, you know, yeah. it started with the school shooting. Mm-hmm. Because oh. the school shooting, people think that it's a, a gun Drug control. related too. The school shooting, it actually has to do with mental health mm. issues. Mm-hmm. People use that school shooting as, oh, oh, uh, uh, the amendment, uh, you know, uh, we can gun, gun control. But it's not. It goes deep mm-hmm. down to sure. mental health issues. Mm-hmm. And you just Why read is it, right it so there? prevalent? Because, you know, when we grew up, we didn't have all this right. stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we, we didn't yeah. have, I mean, the peer but pressure was we, the same. Did we not have it? Or did we have it and it wasn't as scene because there wasn't mm-hmm. so much media that, attention and social media that too because i i mean i feel like yes it has escalated yes, right. but i do feel like it is much more visible now yes. than it was 20 yes. 30 you years ago yeah. now. i see yeah. it as more like everywhere we need psychologists yeah. now and we need i, we need wow. I mean that's where the then you know no, that's just where to go to now clinicians yeah. well i think I, I think the the era of the education of mental health has mm-hmm. increased tremendously. Mm-hmm. People oh, yeah. are studying it more, right? They're studying the brain. Yeah. They're studying mm-hmm. how all this psychological affects mm-hmm. the physical part of it. Yep. But I think there was never a space. When we went to school, we only had counselors who did our schedule for us. That's yep. it. That's it. Mm-hmm. If you had a good counselor to talk to, maybe, maybe then you could sit down and talk about something personal like smoking or yeah. sex addiction mm-hmm. or whatever, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But... I've never had a student that come to me mm-hmm. to my office and say, "Lucky, I, t- I have a psychologist at school." Mm-hmm. I go, "What do you mm-hmm. What do you guys talk about? Everything, mm-hmm. like my depression." Yeah, and I'm like, "Cool." I mean, and that's that's, that's, that's new even yeah. within the last uh, 10, yeah. 12, 15 years. Because sure. my my ex husband's sure. um, oldest son, he's twenty two this year, and when we had custody of him when he was seventh and eighth grade, and this was back in Tennessee. Um, and he got sent to reform school because he brought alcohol to school and got mm-hmm. drunk on campus. He was smoking cigarettes. He was doing all this stuff. And his guidance, count, I mean, because I tried to get him into a therapist and neither mm-hmm. parents were down for it. And so I was like, no, nah, the guidance counselor's got it. I'm like, bro, the yeah. guidance counselor's yeah. not yeah. doing yeah. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm yeah. like, they're not. They're not. They, and so th- that is, that's new because yeah. that was 10, 11 years ago. And. So you have this, all these different players mm-hmm. in this game, right? Mm-hmm. All these, you have the school counselor, yeah. you have the parents now, mm-hmm. you have Charles's uh, older <laughs> peer, right? Older <laughs> peer that he mentioned <laughs> earlier, right? Older <laughs> peer, yeah. a, a guy that they look up to, this mm-hmm. youth. So you have multiple players yeah. in this space now. Mm-hmm. It's honestly a lot better than when I went to school. Oh, yeah. I, I think so. But I think it's also there because it's actually shown... To have more visibility, like you mentioned, mm-hmm. we didn't have social media. Like I said, we didn't have the mm-hmm. marketing. We didn't mm-hmm. have all that. Yeah. So it's a lot different. And I think <clears throat> these these school counselors are getting a lot smarter mm-hmm. and understanding mm-hmm. and having spaces like this where we could talk about it. And like H- California Health Collaborative going into after school programs, they do mm-hmm. that sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and they do these these programs and teach and do all that you know what i mean and yep. so i think that's pretty cool yeah pretty, pretty my cool. friends are counselor at fresno uh unified and they have to every like month they have to go training about the current topics that are affecting the teens mm. so they can actually talk to them mm. and she's a counselor so they can also be like i said a social worker mm-hmm. clinician you know so they have to learn all uh what's going on with the issues of the young teens and then they have um the training gives them like guides to maybe give them advice and stuff. I never got talking to when I went to school. Me too. I- I'll say but, it right now. Yeah, me too. About any topics. Yeah. 
Not even about right. smoking or drinking. Right. Like, I've never sat like this with 10 students and a teacher facilitating a conversation. i never had that. Yeah, but no. if you think about it, right? Back then, we had to be more mentally tough. Sure. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, sure. it takes a lot mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. mental toughness to get through all of that stuff. And, you know, a lot of these kids now, you know, I don't think they get disciplined enough. No, they don't. You know, and, and like so... Spoiled. Yeah, they get spoiled. And so they, they can be like... fast. Right, right. Everything fast, them. everything there. Mm-hmm. And so I think that what happened is the parents need to step up, like mm-hmm. I said, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's ultimately their responsibility to raise that child, mm-hmm. to be a productive member of society. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it's nobody's out. A know? lot yeah. of, I feel like a lot of parents, um, from what I've seen in, in the schools, they kind of view school as, as the parent. As a parent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, oh, I you see. know, it's I kind see. of like, I mean, because if you think about it, it's there, they spend the majority of the time there. School. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then because, especially when I worked in the school, that was one of the things I saw. You, you knew which kids had parents who worked with them outside of right. school, and you knew which kids mm-hmm. didn't because they would come back yeah. and you would be yeah. retraining right. bad habits out of yeah. them. Right. Yeah. Every yes. single every single Monday they right, come yeah. back to school. <laughs> and it's like everything we worked with them the week before yeah. and, out the window. But <laughs> it's also back in the days when we were growing up, our parents can punish us by hitting us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now you yep. cannot even touch the kid mm-hmm. or they, CBS will right. show up. That's yeah. why I think for like for me, my perspective, right? I see all of these things. I see that, you know. Instead of teaching the kids what to think, mm-hmm. I would rather teach the kid how to think. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Because I mean, and that's overall a yeah. general yeah. life overall, skill that they need right? to learn. Life skill too. that need to learn. Yeah. Like, yeah. okay, you have all these warnings out here that's mm-hmm. telling you that mm-hmm. it's bad. Why are you still making that choice? Yeah. You know, so if they mm-hmm. learn how to think about making the right choices mm-hmm. instead of the bad choices, I think that will help them overall, yeah. not just in this and just in everything yeah. else in general. You know, that's yeah. my perspective yeah. on. On these things. Yeah. And to get back to what you're talking about where right. parents think that dropping off the kids and the teachers mm-hmm. or the schools or the parents is sometimes it's about the lack of education that the parents have. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Parents, oh, oh, yep. yeah. we need so much more education on how to do this mm-hmm. shit with our kids. Are you kidding yeah. me? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no. And not just that because like uh, growing up, my mom always expect like, you know, the school to know better because mm-hmm. they, they're educated. Yeah. They're, they're, smart, yeah. they're school. Yeah, school. They know yeah. everything. They're taught how to yeah, deal yeah, with yeah, kids and behaviors. Everything. So I don't know how to do it. I'm sure the school knows. And then when I, I do something wrong, my mom would like, then you go to school, then you learn anything. <laughs> so <laughs> that's yeah. just the uh, idea and, uh, and thoughts that, you know, those yeah. parents, have. parents have. Yeah. So it's not like they, they're trying to be bad parents. It's just that they don't know better. Well, I mean, right. and that's, I feel like, that's that's a generational thing too mm-hmm. though is like mm-hmm. our parents mm-hmm. only did as what much as they could yes. and as good mm-hmm. as they could with what they knew yeah, and each they generation yep. Yep. just has to, get, to get, get the education yeah. on their own and yeah. find the resources mm-hmm. on their own mm-hmm. to make those differences and to have those conversations with yeah. their kids because yeah. my my parents absolutely did not have the conversations yeah. with me that yeah. i have no, with my too. kids yeah. at yeah. all yeah and then you always say back in the age your parents like Oh, she's the first graduate from college, so it's yes. a new generation. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know if you guys knew, LeBron James, his son Bronny's gonna be the first to graduate from college in wow. his family. Really, oh. I did not know yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. So this guy's making all that Billy, money with no college, college degree. No, he went right out of high school. <laughs> right out of high school. Yeah. Yeah. Right out of high school. Wow. He was such a, they <laughs> yeah. crowned him the king. Yeah. On, um, I think Kobe did too. Yeah. Kobe, yeah. Kobe, Carmelo, Anthony. Kevin and Durant. Kevin Durant. But exceptional. Yeah, except mm-hmm. you got to be like in yeah. skill, the skills. Yeah. Right. Their, their work ethic is a lot different oh, than most people. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Look no, at all of them. Yeah. yeah. They, they put in the work. They put all in the, the time. time. They perfected yeah. their mm-hmm. craft. So yeah. that's what makes them exceptional. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Intelligence and education is two different things. Mm-hmm. It's not the same. Mm-hmm. It is. Yep. What do you mean? <laughs> Explain some more. <laughs> Meaning, you don't need to go to school right. in order to be smart. Right. Mm-hmm. Agreed. You know, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. school is there to give you the basic. Oh, man, someone told me a lie. Right? That's <laughs> school is there to give you the basic, but yeah. it's still your responsibility yeah. to, to apply on that. Yeah. You also got to okay. apply yeah. it, too. You know? yeah. 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 So if there's one thing that you would like to see change mm-hmm. in, the, or in the industry or in the community, we're geared towards young people or any policies or anything that you would see what would, what would one thing that you want to see or to share to the community i mean honestly for me i think 
more education for the parents first mm. because mm-hmm. I truly think that that's where it starts yeah. under yeah. understanding that you can't we can't treat our kids the way that we were treated like you know I I have very very mixed feelings on you know corporal punishment and all of those things you know and how we were raised I don't think it's okay I don't I and don't that's not to say I haven't punished my kids in that sense in the mm-hmm. past um, but I have spent time doing research and finding resources to learn other ways to cope with my own internal aggressions that cause me to react to my children Mm -hmm. in the way that I react to them when they don't know how to cope with their emotions. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like that's kind of where that stems from in the older generations is them not knowing how to cope with their own emotions Mm. to deal with the children and having more parents learn how to deal with their own emotions Mm. first Mm -hmm. so that they can better foster those relationships with their children to guide them versus Mm. the just do as I say, not as I do. I told you so because Mm. I said so mentality because Mm -hmm. I mean, look at, we know that doesn't work. Yeah. We know yeah. because I said so doesn't work. We know I told you no doesn't work. No means I'm going to go do it. You know, so I really, mm-hmm. for me, I think educating more parents mm-hmm. on how to deal with their own emotions mm-hmm. and then turning that into communicating with their kids. I wow. agree with that because the parents need to heal mm-hmm. first yes, before they could actually yeah. heal their yeah. kid or mm-hmm. teach them. Like PTSD. If their parents are unhealed mm-hmm. and dealing with all kinds mm-hmm. of stuff, mm-hmm. you cannot expect... No your yeah. kid to be no. better like, and, than and you so yeah. the kids are just mirrors yeah. of yeah. what they see us doing yeah. as right. parents and if they you know and then that also goes to you know helping the parents maybe yes. find resources mm-hmm. to quit smoking because i mean for you it was a deterrent mm-hmm. but there are other kids mm-hmm. who it's not a deterrent and they see mom and dad mm-hmm. smoking and they're like oh, okay cool that's just that's just the thing yeah that's, that's just normal. the thing that we do it's yeah. normal yeah yep yeah. soma well it's deterrent because i did try it and I choked. <laughs> we all tried it. You, you tried it, Lucky? Well, I tried what? Cigarette? Smoke? I tried it one time. Yeah, we Everything. all tried it. Yeah. And I time. couldn't do it. I said, oh, I suck in this. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at this. Huh? <laughs> I don't want to say anything nasty after that. But wow. That's, wow. That's my comment. I was, I, was, I was trying to stay on topic. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, what, what, what would you like to see? Anything change? Um, well, definitely the stricter rules, um, laws. I just think definitely, like, smoking, it should definitely be banned, of course, in the schools. And you just have to have more um, uh, the supervision, not just staff, but, of course, get the police in. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Uh, that's my, just my day, stricter yeah. rules. Lucky. <clears throat> yeah, no, I, I think I think programs, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, we mentioned, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's so many different materials out there. But how is that material being relayed? Mm -hmm. You know, I think young folks, you have a space to talk about stuff like this that we're doing right now. I think Mm -hmm. that's crucial, important. Um, A private space, too, because not people get made fun of if they go to a Mm -hmm. conversation course, right? (laughs) Or or a program. Oh, look, look, he's going in there. Uh, He got something to say. He's a crybaby or something, Mm -hmm. whatever, right? But I think a private space. And on top of that, including parents in these conversations in the Mm -hmm. future, Mm -hmm. you know, I think there's programs out there how to funnel it how to figure that out that's mm-hmm. all going to kind of be shaped around that um definitely some laws some mm-hmm. pertaining laws regarding for me imagery is really really crucial to the yeah. eyes and imagery is one of the most important things about someone learning how to smoke so for young kids i think going back you got to go a thousand feet away from the stop sign or school if mm-hmm. you can do that mm-hmm. go ahead mm-hmm. a thousand and one feet later go ahead and smoke then yeah. you know and i think I'm sure. I'm sure they're gonna try to figure this out, but um, that's one of the ways that I think. One of the two ways. I have plenty more, but that's one of the two ways. Just for yeah. now, um, that will help deter it just a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Charles. Charles. Well, for me, is two steps. One is the inner, which is teaching the kids how to think and how to process things, mm-hmm. and that comes down to school and spending time with the family and being around the right people. Mm-hmm. And second is on the outside where make it more expensive mm-hmm. to buy cigarettes mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. you know, and make it harder by separating it. Because, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, $15 mm-hmm. a pack of cigarette is expensive, mm-hmm. expensive. but people still buying it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Make that damn thing $30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Make it yeah. a rich people problem. <laughs> like you got to be rich to smoke. Yeah. You got to be rich. Yeah, so, I mean, 
Well, and how would they make money then? There's not a lot of rich people. Mm-hmm. You talking about the tobacco company? Yeah. Bro, this smart. They'll f- figure oh, out. They'll way. find a way. Yeah, they'll find they'll something. They'll find a way. Oh, I was they'll, trying to see how deep they'll, they'll, they'll turn. Was. They'll they'll turn it from vape to gum, gum to whatever they need oh, to chewing. Yeah, but I'm not worried about the tobacco family. Um, yeah, so doing that because uh, you know separating it out and raising the price that's just outer mm-hmm. stuff because yeah. people's gonna find a way to get their stuff, mm-hmm. but don't make it so easy. Right. <clears throat> yeah. We're good. Toby. But, <laughs> to me, I think it starts with uh, teaching the kids mm-hmm. uh, young, you know, mm-hmm. teaching them how to be disciplined, teaching them, you know, um, making the right choice, how to think, how to get through these things. And I think m- mm-hmm. for my thing, it's more of a, a mindset thing, right? Like mm-hmm. if you, all these bad things that are happening mm-hmm. out there, I mean, you got to be strong enough, you know, and these kids, you know, they're impressionable, like everybody said, you know. Mm-hmm. So if you teach them how to think and stay strong and get through that, it, it's more of a, um, it's going to help them out later on in life. And, you know, we, we necessarily don't need all these programs if these kids know how to think for themselves. You mm-hmm. know, if we yep. get them young and if, like you said, we get mm-hmm. to the parents, you know, and we help them heal, they could pass it on. It starts with one little spark. Mm-hmm. It starts and then you, it creates a chain, you know. But yep. It's, it starts with helping each other. Anyway, that's... Uh, <laughs> Let's wrap it wow. up. That's yeah. all the time we have. We kind of went over we our did. time limit, but it was very... Um, it was very conversational. Conversational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought we were actually going to argue, but we didn't <laughs> oh, get that far. Yes, but I know it was good. I know, you know, it was. I, I could have started an argue right now. Go argument ahead. right now. Nah. Yeah, we <laughs> <gotta> start, uh, <laughs> Sarah started. <laughs> no, Sarah. No. Okay. Sarah started. Lucky, Lucky stayed quiet. That's why there was no yeah. argument that started. Yeah, he, he did <laughs> talk <laughs> quiet. I didn't, I didn't talk so much today. That's why. Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for yes, listening sir. to us. Thank you. Don't forget to like, like subscribe, share, follow share. us, share. Comment. Comment. Argue love. with us online. Yes. 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 I love it all. back. So. Bring it on. Next time. We'll see you guys. Next time. See you. Peace. Bye.